Gayatri here. Today I am sharing a tutorial for the envelope album I made as my DT project. Now this is a box type envelope and it can hold 15 to 20 pictures and has a gusset of half an inch. On the inside you have two more small envelopes on the side flaps. Now let's see how we can make it. To make the box envelope, we need a square piece of cardstock measuring 10 and 3 quarters by 10 and 3 quarters. So we need to make two punches on all the sides. So with the help of an envelope punch board, the first punch will be at 4 and 3 by 8. See that you keep the cardstock flush against the board and then punch and score. You won't be able to completely score because the cardstock will be hanging beyond the board but that will be corrected when you punch on all the sides. Now the next punch is at 5, punch and score. Now turn the cardstock 180 degrees and punch with the same measurements that is the first punch at 4 and 3 by 8 and the second punch at 5. Remember to punch and score. Now reverse the cardstock and do the same punch and score on the remaining two sides. Now you will see that when you score it will match with the previous score line. Now we need to score on these two sides so match the score line with the notch over here and then score for both the score lines. So you get two score lines on this side also. Now repeat on the other side. Now we have to remove these corners. Now I have removed the corners and now you have to fold and burnish all the fold lines. we have the box envelope ready now this measures seven and a half inches by five and five by eight now to make the envelopes that go on the side flaps we need two pieces of two square pieces of cardstock which measure nine and quarter by nine and quarter now this also we have to punch at 4 and 3 by 8. So punch and then score. Now this is a flat envelope so you just have to follow the score line that is match the score line with the notch and then punch and score. Now burnish all the score lines. And this measures six and a quarter by five and five by eight. Now we remove to attach it to the main box envelope. We have to remove the side flap, which measures five and five by eight.
now i have removed the side flap and then add glue and stick it to the box envelope burnish well and repeat it for the other side also fold and burnish all the score lines now your envelope album is ready you can add the pages and pockets as you wish i'll be sharing how i added the pages in my album now let's see how to create the first set of pages the measurements will be given on the screen so on the first piece of cardstock score at half inch and 3/4 of an inch turn it over and then score at 4 inches fold and burnish all the score lines Now on this card stock score at half an inch and you have to add this to the base you won't be able to fold it properly so we need to trim a little bit of from this edge and then stick it Now stick the set of pages to the base envelope See that you don't overlap the score line and just inside the score line Burnish well and your first set of pages are ready Now let's see how to create this set of pages you need four pieces of cardstock of different sizes now the measurements of each cardstock will be given on the screen now let's see how we have to score so on the bigger piece of cardstock score at 5 and 1/2 inches on the 6 inch side so that you get a square piece of 5 and 1/2 by 5 and 1/2 on the next one score half inch from the end and 5 by 8 again you get a square piece of 5 by 5 here also you have to score half inch from the side and then 5 by 8 So you have a square piece of four and a half by four and a half. Now the last one score half inch from the side and one fourth of an inch. So you get a square piece of four inch by four inch. Now fold and burnish all the score lines well.
let's take these pages to the main album I'll start with the smallest one I'll be applying white glue you can use whatever glue you are comfortable with now you proceed with the second piece third piece and the last one the la bigger piece will be the last one So burnish well after applying the glue. Now all the pages are attached to the album and the album is ready. So you can decorate it with the pattern paper. Hope you liked my tutorial. If you have any doubt, please post as a comment. I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye.